Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in this world. Once again, it's John West here with Japanese Business and Economy. Yes, as I said, John West here with Japanese Business and Economy. And now we have the third segment of our second class, Class 2C. And what we're going to look at uh, here is Japanese convenience stores called konbini in Japanese. In the third segment of uh, each of our classes, I will look at different aspects of Japanese business or Japanese life. Uh, and uh, some of this may inspire you in terms of uh, making your presentation or doing other work. And so for this one, Japanese convenience stores. Now, for those of you who've uh, visited Japan, you would know that basically on every street corner in Japanese cities and towns, there is at least one convenience store. And these convenience stores are usually open 24-7, 24 hours a day. So if you wake up in the middle of the night and you need a cup of coffee or need something to read or need a snack, you can go down and buy it. These convenience stores offer a wide range of products and services from food and cigarettes Unfortunately, Japanese people still smoke a lot. Uh, the convenience stores have ATMs, newspapers, and even umbrellas in case there is a sudden uh, downpour of rain. This can happen particularly during the wet season. All the, the main chains of convenience stores are actually Japanese owned, but they've spread out to, to other countries, especially in Asia. This highlights the fact that today, there is much more to the Japanese economy than manufacturing. The services sector is developing quite strongly in many ways. It also highlights that Japanese companies are now increasingly active in international markets. This is part of a response to Japan's aging population. With Japan's aging and declining population, the domestic economy is weaker. And so for companies wanting to grow, the best way to grow is to invest and do business overseas. Now today, convenience stores in Japan they're usually staffed by migrants or international students. It's rather unusual, particularly in Tokyo, to find Japanese workers working in a convenience store. Now, the, the first uh, convenience store chain that I'll uh, introduce is Family Mart. Family Mart is a Japanese convenience store franchise chain. It first opened up in Sayama, in Saitama Prefecture, near Tokyo, in 1973. The, the main shareholder is Itochu, a Japanese trading company, which has a stake of about 50%. And so this uh, photo uh, that you can see there gives you an example of a, uh, a typical family mart a convenience store. Now, Family Mart is Japan's second largest uh, chain of convenience stores, uh, second behind 7-Eleven. Uh, Family Mart actually has grown into quite a big enterprise. There are now almost 25,000 stores worldwide, and that covers Japan, Taiwan, China, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Malaysia. And so all of the Family Mart stores are actually uh, in Asia, in East Asia. Now, would you like to visit a Family Mart store with me? Here we go faster than you can uh, put it in your mouth, that's for sure. Anyways, um, back over here, magazine. Today, I'm going to give you a full tour of the Family Mart convenience store here in Japan, which arguably is the second best convenience store here. First being 7-Eleven, of course, and that's the reason why we're here. I put out a 7-Eleven video. You guys were all asking about Family Mart, Lawson's, and other convenience stores in Japan. So I figured we're going to do a full series on this. But before we get carried away, we're at Family Mart. Let's get out, take a look around, and show you guys everything as well. Guys, don't forget, drop a like and leave a comment of what you think of the place and if you can work out the key differences. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so before we go inside, something I noticed is this is this is not normal at all. This is totally weird and the only time that I've ever seen this, but they have an EV quick charging point here. So for your Teslas and other electric hybrid cars and things like that, you can charge your car at this Family Mart. Anyways, let's head inside and get this tour underway. So when we head inside and the doors open, you're going to hear us a song. 
There you go, you can hear that. <laughs> okay, so most convenience stores in Japan, they do start off with like the sanitary section. By the way, May's here. Hi, May. Cool. And you're also going to have your magazines generally on this side too with your, your Google Play and iTunes cards. So I guess start back here, sanitary sections, kind of very similar to 7-Eleven. You got your like sweat body wipes and stuff, deodorants, uh, makeup removers and things like that, makeup, laundry detergent things. Um, you've got like your Febreze things there to get rid of bad odors because, you know, everyone who smokes like business-wise, it's very common. A lot of people smoke in Japan, so they got lots of that. You know, toiletries, things like that. And then, so not every convenience store has this, but some do, where you can get like basic medication for colds and coughs and things like that, which is really good and helpful. And this one's got the ice cream section here, which is kind of weird because normally the ice cream section is like the last thing you do near the counter when you want to leave. So it's kind of interesting. But ice creams in Japan, there's only really, oh wow, they got chalk mint back in stock. Do they have that one that looks like a strawberry ice cream that's actually red bean that filled me once? There, ah, so this is actually a strawberry one because it has strawberries on it. But there's another one that looks just like this without the strawberries there, like that but it's actually red bean and uh, yeah, you'll spit it out faster than you can uh, put it in your mouth. That's for sure. Anyway, um, back over here, magazines and things like that. So, you know, your mangas and, uh, and like just generic magazines as well as adult things and stuff will be there. So there you are, a quick uh, tour of uh, Family Mart. Uh, I'll put this on uh, my website and you can watch the whole uh, tour if you wish. So the second convenience store that uh, we're going to look at is 7-Eleven. Now 7-Eleven has a more interesting history than Family Mart. 7-Eleven was founded in 1927 in Dallas, Texas, so its origins are American, but 70% of the company was acquired by a Japanese uh, company, a uh, Japanese affiliate Ito Yuka, Yuka Do in 1991. And so now 7-Eleven uh, has actually become a, uh, uh, a Japanese company. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of 7-Eleven Japan. Now, 7-Eleven uh, operates uh, franchises and operates itself and licenses over 70,000 stores in 17 countries. And one point that distinguishes it from uh, Family Mart is that its stores are not only in Asia, but also Europe, North America, and Oceania. But uh, when you see a uh, 7-Eleven, uh, perhaps in your country or when you're traveling around. Remember that this company started off being an American com company, but today it's actually a Japanese company. Lawson is the third and last, uh, oh, oh, sorry, I was going to show you a little, uh, take you a little trip into 7-Eleven. Uh, uh, Members of the Barrio, it's John coming to you from Tokyo. And if you're interested in more unique and strange videos, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any of our adventures from around the world. Well, today we're going to show you around a Japanese 7 Eleven here in Shinjuku. And I love these stores because this is a very expensive country. But if you just want to get a cheap snack, even a cheap meal, alcohol, They've got it all in 7-Eleven, and they're a bit different than the 7-Elevens you're probably used to in other places around the world, so why don't we go inside? What's your favorite thing to buy at a Japanese 7-Eleven? I'll show you. You'll see. Okay. First thing you see here is a little seating area. Uh, so if you order food, you can take it there. What are you looking at? Like, for makeup. This is by far Adriana's favorite thing here. Pocky sticks are just a dollar fifty, give or take. They are so much cheaper in Japan than anywhere else. What are you doing? Another favorite in Japan, Kit Kats. Everywhere. Chocolate everywhere. If you're desperate for souvenirs, come to 7 Eleven. You can take everything that you everything. I'm just going to take this one with me from now. I want to show you something. All right, we're going on a trip. Energy drinks? Energy drinks. Vitamin orange. 
they look like poisons. Very serious. The Japanese energy drinks, they taste awful. And they get tricked on. Oh yeah, here we go. This is where you can get meals, basically. Yeah, this is where you can go to like pack up on lunch. How much the sandwiches cost? So there you have it, a, a quick visit to, to 7-Eleven. And as you can see that although Japan has the reputation for being a, a very expensive uh, country, uh, not everything is actually expensive in Japan. And 7-Eleven and other convenience stores are places where you can buy cheap products and even healthy products. And so the last convenience store that we're going to look at is Lawson. Now, uh, uh, Lawson is a, uh, once again, a convenience store franchise chain in Japan. Uh, the store originated in the US. And so uh, the name Lawson is uh, not surprising, but today it actually is also a Japanese company. And uh, Lawson operates over 11,000 stores. And these can be found in Japan, but as well in China, Indonesia, Thailand, the Philippines, and back in the USA. So let's take a little visit to, to Lawson. So uh, there you have it, uh, a little tour of uh, uh, convenience stores in Japan. Now, I think the uh, a couple of things that uh, we want to recall, Japanese business is actually very, very dynamic and the retail uh, sector of the Japanese economy is very dynamic. And you see this in the convenience stores, which are open 24 hours a day, and we can buy basically whatever you want. And uh, in my country, Australia, where I'm here now, we don't have convenience stores that are open all the time. Uh, if you want to buy something in the middle of the night, it's not possible. So dynamic retail sector in Japan. The second point to, to note is that uh, these Japanese convenience stores, Japanese retailers, are now spread out to many international countries, many other countries, especially in East Asia. And so uh, once again, this is business dynamism. And uh, thirdly, it's interesting that we think about very often Japan as being a manufacturing country, a country with uh, Toyota, Nissan, Sony, Panasonic, but the retail services sector is also very important. Uh, and interestingly, for the average visitor to Japan, you would not notice that uh, particularly 7-Eleven and Lawson and even Family Mart are Japanese companies. And so, I think the average visitor, when they come, think, probably think, oh, this is an American company set up. No, these three companies are actually today Japanese companies. Something else which uh, is worth also noting is that the staff uh, of these stores, as I said, typically migrants or students. And of course, whenever you have migrants working in this type of industry, you have migrants on very low salaries, and often they can be uh, abuses, migrants' rights abuses. And of course, there are stories of this in Japan. And we'll look at this a little bit later in our course when we explore uh, the issue of migration. So thank you once again for joining me for this uh, short overview of uh, uh, convenience stores in Japan. So domo arigato. And uh, um, 
I look forward to just seeing you next time. Thank you once again for joining me. And if you have any comments, questions, reactions uh, on this, please send me an email or uh, raise the comments, questions and reactions in our student discussion groups. And if any of you would like to, in your student company presentation, your presentation of your favorite Japanese company, if you'd like to look at one of these convenience stores, please do so. So for the moment, sayonara. <laughs>